Hi, I'm Crystal. As a child, I was always nurturing and naturally loved dolls. When I became an adult and discovered reborn dolls, my little family started to grow. There's Haley, Landon, Avery, Chloe, Shiloh, Grace, Jamie, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, and Savannah. Along with collecting, I have been a reborn artist since 2008. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it's a lot of fun. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, and I know, I know, I was supposed to have a different baby in every video, but I just couldn't resist having Ava be in a video again because I just am in love with this hat. <laughs> and I haven't taken it off her since Saturday. Poor thing must be stifling, but, well, it's kind of cool in here I guess because we're in a basement but <laughs> she just looks so cute in it and I, I just can't stand to take it off especially with this outfit like it just everything looks perfect but anyways um <laughs> we found uh Alfie um camping out by the tree <laughs> she made a tent with one of our um not of our what is it National Ge Geographic book. It's one of Alex's. <laughs> um, so yeah, she made a little tent and she's just peeking out at Ava right now. <laughs> Ava's thrilled. Um, so that's what's going on this morning. And um, yeah, so I am off to work. And when I get back, um, I have quite a bit that I have to get done, but um, I have some announcements and some things to tell you guys, ask you guys. Um, so I'm going to be doing that. And then I want to get those new ornaments on my tree and do our advent calendar. So that is what will happen after dinner when I get home. So, we'll check in later. Alright everyone, so it is after dinner now and Ava and I are having a little cuddle, a little snuggle time. Um, and I grabbed our advent calendar um, so we can have a little dessert. Um, so, today is the 15th. And I just can't believe how fast the month is flying by. It is unbelievable. Um, let's see. Number 15. Is it 15 or is it 16 today? Oh, I think it's 16. Oh, it is. My goodness. Okay. I'm behind in my head. Um... <laughs> Okay, it's 16, right up here. Oh, it flipped right around. All right. Uh, I think it goes this way. Looks like it is supposed to be um, a rain. Perhaps a reindeer? I'm guessing. Um, looks like it to me. Hmm. All right, well. Um, I know Ava's already had a taste of chocolate, but she can have a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so on to the Christmas ornaments. Yay! Okay, so um, I already went ahead and put the first ornament on because it was tricky and it required moving some other ornaments around since it's so heavy. So there's the Silent Night one. Um, and so now I'm gonna put the um, the fairy on with Ava to 
Christmas fairy. So I think I saw a spot over here that I wanted to put it. I think it's like right up here somewhere. Although it's a little high for Ava to help. Maybe here. Okay, so Ava's going to help hang up the fairy. We're going to put it right, right over here. Just do like a close-up. I hope that looks okay. That works. There's a bit of a blank spot there. So she's right there. She's got a little snowflake wand. It's cute. Okay, and then the next one is um, the sleigh bell from the Polar Express from Santa's sleigh. This one, it's getting hard to find a spot. <laughs> um, this one, I'm going to edit this down. <laughs> okay, we figured out a place. I'm going to put it right here. Had to do some shifting, but it fits perfectly. It's cool because it comes with like its own little thing, like little ribbon to hang it. And it has the golden ticket the round trip ticket and then it says the Polar Express 2014 and I think I put it on backwards turn around so we can actually see what it says okay there that should be the, the right way now there the Polar Express Bell from Santa's sleigh fits perfectly. Yay! Okay guys, so the next part that I wanted to talk about in this video is I need your opinion on this outfit. Um, I got this from Carter's and I bought it with Savannah in mind or well, either Savannah, Yuki, or Maya. I mean, really, they could all share it because they all pretty much wear the same size. It's size newborn. Um, I just thought it was adorable. It's this, like, white onesie with these pink polka dots, and it's got a little pink bow at the collar with the little scalloped um, pink edges. And then it comes with these little pink leggings, and um, it's a gray kind of a vest. Thing, but it's like a it's got like a little skirt type thing attached to it with the white um, what is that uh, Scottish Terrier dog or something to that effect but I thought it was like really cute and then when I got it home I got thinking um, like cause, like I said I got it with those three in mind because they really don't have any um, winter clothing because this is really like their first real like full winter with me um so I had it I got it with them in mind but then when I got it home I was thinking that it actually might suit Grace um so I'm debating taking it back and getting it in Grace's size and I was just wondering what you guys thought um and also um my other thought, which this is the first time um, I've ever really considered doing this, um, is keeping this in this size and just getting it again in a bigger size for Grace. And I just didn't know, have, do, do any of you guys that have like one toddler in your collection and a bunch of like newborns in your collection, have you ever like got two of the same outfit in the two different sizes so they can both wear it um 
I don't know if anyone's ever done that or like what do you guys think of that because it honestly it's never crossed my mind because like I've always um I don't know Grace has always had like her own separate thing because she's in the bigger sizes but with this outfit like I think it would suit some of my smaller babies but I think it would also suit her and so I didn't know if it would like be kind of like cute to have like her with like one of her younger sisters like matching or I don't know what do you guys think let me know um because I'd like your opinion on that it's just weird because I've never thought of like buying the same outfit in two different sizes for the two different babies but it was just a thought that I had for this one outfit because I love it that much but um we also got some more Christmas cards over here we have this one from my mom and this one is from <laughs> um Alex's aunt and uncle. Isn't that cute? Isn't that a cute little snowman? And it's like 3D. And there's sparkles in the snow. Everything. And there's sparkles on his scarf. And a little bit on his nose. Really cute. Um, what else did I... There's, there's other stuff too that I want to... Um, oh yes, I know what I want to show you guys. So I wanted to show you guys this really cute thing that I did today with Margaret. Um, since Christmas is coming, I thought it would be cute for her to make a Christmas card for her mom and dad. So since she's still really young, like she's still new to painting and gluing and all that stuff. And I really supervise her well and kind of guide her along with it at this point because I, I don't want her to like put any of it in her mouth and try to eat it. Um, so I painted one of her hands green and we did three handprints and then two and then one to make a Christmas tree shape. And then we got these little stars from the dollar store. So we put one at the top of the tree and then I had these little, I've had these for years, these little circles, um, that are like metallic shiny. And so we use those as like um, little bulbs on the Christmas tree so I'm gonna draw like a trunk like a tree trunk and then write like Merry Christmas or something and we'll we'll you know like write something inside so that's gonna be the card and then the gift that I'm going to do is I found this cute little um, kit that I had to make these foam tree ornaments and they had blue ones and pink ones for boys and girls and so I've already gone ahead and s these ones were like ad self-adhesive so I stuck those ones on already same as these I stuck those onto this tag but this one oh I think this is oh I guess this is self-adhesive too I didn't realize it but it is so I can stick that down I thought I had to glue it because it was all white I couldn't tell that there was a backing but there is I just realized so I'll stick that down on there and then there's this which is like a little frame and so I took a picture of her and I'll just be you just basically have to cut out the face because that's all that can fit and you just punch out the center and um, put the picture and this um, I guess like I'd have to glue the picture down first and then there's like a candy cane type thing framing it so um so it'll be like a little ornament and I think what I would do is like maybe thread like some string through the little tab here with a needle and then that way like they could hang it in their tree so I thought that would be really like a cute gift for her to make for them but um well really I made this part but at least she did the, I helped her with the tree. So I thought that was cute. Um, yeah, and then, oh, I have some news to share. So um, I wanted to let you guys know, I think I did mention it before, that Friday night I sent out a bunch of packages 
um, to some different people on YouTube who I've really connected with. And so I'm not going to say any names because I want it to be a surprise, but um, just know that there might be something coming in your mailbox. Um, and also on Sunday, I sent out the third greetings from around the globe box. Um, so I sent it to the next person on my list and hopefully they will receive it before Christmas. I hope, I don't know. It may, it may be, it may not get there until after Christmas. I, I'm not sure because I kind of sent it a bit late, but I'm hoping it'll get there in time for Christmas because I think if I remember correctly, I put some Christmas things in there, but, um, so just know that the third box is on its way and I was just informed of someone who's received one of the other boxes going around. I'm not sure if it's the first or the second box at this point, but, um, cause I haven't watched the video yet, but they did send me the link to their box opening video. So I will put that in the description below so you can go and check it out. And also I'll be adding it to the playlist that I've now started. So I have a playlist for box one and a playlist for box two. If you go to my channel page, you'll be able to find it under um, the doll video playlists. Um, there's, you might have to like actually click on the thing that says um, doll videos or whatever. And then it'll take you to all the different doll related playlists I have. And you'll see it'll say like, around the globe box one and around the globe box two and whatnot. So you can go and check that out. Um, but like I said, I will put like a link to her video in the description below as well for you guys to check out. So that is that. And then the last thing I wanted to mention before I sign off on this video is, um, for anyone who was one, like I know a lot of you guys that have recently subscribed have like told me that you've been um, like going back and like watching some of my older videos or trying to catch up on some of my older, older videos. And I'm not sure if you guys um, have noticed it or not or realized it or not, but um, a really easy way for you to catch up would be, I've only done it so far on my dull break videos, but I'm planning to add it to my other videos as well. Um, but for now on all the doll break videos, there's like an end slate at the end of the video. And if you click on, um, it says like an oldie, but a goodie. If you click on that, it will take you to one of my older doll videos. And so I actually started the very first video um, that I made with that end slate, I put the very first doll video that I ever um, posted on YouTube and I've gone in order since then. So um, what I can do for you guys is put the, um, the first video that I did with this end slate in the description below. So you can check that out and then every video that I've had since then, um, the oldie but a goodie button has been like um, all the older doll videos like going in sequence. So um, it's kind of like a neat way, like an easier way if you want to catch up because if you just watch the new doll break video and then at the end click on the oldie but goodie, then you just watch one extra like doll video. And that's, I don't know, that's like an easy way to get caught up. And so I'm planning to actually add it to the end slates on um, my other segments too so that you guys can... Um, if you're like a lupus patient or something and you want to catch up on my lupus vlogs, I'll start from the beginning and go through on each one, if that makes sense. And, um, things like that. So I am planning to do that. I just have, um, I probably won't be able to update those, those end slates until like January though, because there's just too much going on right now with Christmas and everything. So, um, I guess that's it for this video. I'm going to sign off here um, because I need to edit this and also um, I need to start printing off some of the 
things that I need to put in the car trip activity bags for my niece and my nephew. Um, I'll actually show you a little bit of the progress on that. So far I've only painted um, the fabric paint part like on the bags. Um, so I have, there's Talons and then Morgan's. And so I'm gonna put Velcro in each tic-tac-toe square. And then there's buttons that are the playing pieces and they have Velcro so that you can just stick them on. So that's one of the games. And then um, I'm actually adding extra stuff to this bag than what I usually do. Like the ones that are in my Etsy shop, um, they just have like the homemade games that I make for the bag but I actually also bought like some extra things to throw in the bag for activities like for example I found these on Etsy they are um, I spy bags and so they're just like these felt bags it has a clear window and they're poly pellets and then there's different objects in there and there's like a, a tag here that tells you like can you find and it has all of these different things for them to find and um, you have to like really like move it and shake it and manipulate it. you have to like really like move it around and everything to try and find all of the objects so this one is obviously for Morgan because it's butterflies and it has like a lot of girly items and stuff in it and then this one is for Talon it has monsters and it has um, these things in it so that's pretty cool and then I bought them like some little activity books and stuff like to do um, in the car as well so I like I said like I I bought basically like these extra little things to throw in there just to add to it a bit but that's where I am at that I just have to print out some stuff like I have like car bingo and these activity books that I made and stuff so I have to print those out and get them like laminated and put together and stuff and that's pretty much it then I just have to put everything in the bag so shouldn't take too long to do actually but that's where I'm at with that so anyways that's all for this video I'm going to sign off with Ava <laughs> and uh, we are just going to enjoy, I th we're just going to enjoy a little bit of cuddle time. I think I'm going to probably hold her while I edit. I've just been really, ever since I got this hat for her, I've just been like in awe. <laughs> so anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's a little bit better than some of the other ones have been lately. And we will see you next time. Say bye. Bye, guys. I'm having a dull day today. I'm going to my friend Isabel's. And I've decided to bring Ava because I don't believe she's met her yet. So I actually have her in that little gray... <gasps> shirt um, from H&M and the, the pants from Sears and that hat from H&M but then I found this adorable sweater that really matches it well at Carter's and so I'm just going to put a blanket on her